Graphics APIs power your games, and the next big steps have been DirectX 12 and Vulkan. And while we've talked a little bit about DirectX 12, a lot of people are wondering just what is Vulkan? Well, to understand what Vulkan or even DirectX 12 are, you need to know what an application programming interface. An API is a set of protocols and tools for building software applications. Pretty much everything has to use an API of some kind. If nobody used APIs, nothing would get done because everybody would be writing everything. Every single call to every single possible function would have to be rewritten for every single program or game. For instance, there's a Microsoft Windows API, which allows you to call the various functions of Microsoft Windows. Similarly, all hardware typically has some type of an API or uses some kind of a generic API, and that's what DirectX 12 and Vulkan both are. Now, obviously, DirectX 12 is the latest version of the DirectX API, and also it's pretty easy to tell that DirectX 12 is developed by Microsoft, who also develops Windows. Vulkan, however, is developed by a third party, Kronos Group, and they've been working in conjunction with AMD with the intention of making something a little bit more open. In fact, Vulkan is the actual successor to OpenGL, which was the primary competitor to DirectX, and again, was open. The intention of Vulkan is basically to be a next generation OpenGL. However, it has developed quite a bit further than that. AMD, like I said, who is working with Kronos Group, has been working on an API specifically for AMD hardware called Mantle. Vulkan is actually derived from and built upon components from Mantle. Vulkan is just a little bit more specific than DirectX 12. Vulkan is more of a direct competitor to Direct3D12, which is the component of DirectX 12 that's specifically used by graphics cards for gaming or, you know, other 3D things. There are other 3D things that aren't gaming, but <laughs> this is game ranks, right? Now, the purpose of Vulkan is obviously to compete with DirectX 12. Like I said, it's a little more specific, but that's the point. Now, what it's not more specific about is what platforms it can work on. While DirectX 12 has generated some impressive results, it's restricted to the Microsoft Windows platform. Vulkan supports Microsoft Windows, OS X, Linux, and even Android. In fact, Google has gone with Vulkan as its primary means of conveying graphics as of 2015. That is the Android low-level API. What this means is that developing a game that is very cross-platform is suddenly significantly easier to do as the APIs are the same, or at least similar, on every single one of these platforms. Samsung, for instance, is using the Android integration in an attempt to make its TouchWiz UI less of a disaster on battery life, so Vulkan does have applications elsewhere. But back to gaming. The Vulkan API particularly excites a lot of the people that are interested in Steam OS, which is a variant of Linux. The intention of Steam OS is to create an operating system that enables the Steam machine movement to create something that could possibly work out a lot better than a gaming console. If a game is designed exclusively for DirectX 12, well, it takes time and money to port it over to other platforms. If a game is developed for Vulkan, it still takes time and money to port it to other platforms, but it takes significantly less. And anybody who's interested in gaming on any platform other than Microsoft Windows has to understand that that's a big deal. And even those of us that stay on Microsoft Windows have to understand that not everybody likes Microsoft Windows. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, Falcon, you jackass, you sold us out. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm a gamer. I'm loyal to gaming, not to Microsoft Windows, not to Steam OS, not to Mac, not to PlayStation, not to Xbox. None of this stuff matters to me. I like playing games, and I'm enthusiastic about the idea of more people being able to play more games. Vulkan, unlike DirectX 12, is a platform that does more enabling of that rather than encouraging people to develop on a specific platform. You might be able to guess that Valve actually is on the side of Vulkan, with Microsoft attempting to do a lot of the things that Steam does but natively in the Microsoft Windows interface. You have to imagine that Valve would much rather, you know, do anything other than DirectX 12. A, because Valve has Steam OS and wants the Steam machine movement to continue, and B, because they probably don't want Windows to make Steam outdated. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen. Windows itself doesn't have the same kind of gamer community that Steam has. In fact, community is a strong element of what Steam
game is, and that's why it will probably stick around without much issue, even in a post-Windows slash Xbox merger. Frankly, Steam matters. And the point of DirectX 12 is to get people to develop games on Microsoft Windows. The point of Vulkan is to be the best game development API. Now that doesn't mean DirectX 12 is really technically inferior than Vulkan. There have been benchmarks that have said things in favor of both. I will say oftentimes with Vulkan performing just a little bit better than DirectX 12. But in all honesty, I'm not biased towards either one of them. As I said, gaming is what I care about. And while technically the idea of an open low-level API is what matters to somebody who cares about games, that doesn't mean I don't see corporate interest in Vulkan. There is an agenda behind Vulkan. You have one of the major graphics card makers involved with it, and you have Valve involved with it. These are companies that have their own interests and agendas, and with them supporting Vulkan over DirectX 12, one has to wonder if it's actually because it's an open API, or if it's because it's against Microsoft. Vulkan's getting pretty widespread support. For instance, it was based on technology by AMD, but Nvidia has thrown their support behind Vulkan as well as Intel, Imagination Technologies, Qualcomm, and others. But in trying to be as objective as I can, I have to say that just because it's Vulkan doesn't mean it's better. It means it's associated with a better principle than DirectX 12, and that's the principle of openness, but that doesn't mean that there won't be people that attempt to use that. Tentatively, I would say that I am a supporter of Vulkan over DirectX 12, but that's on principle. Whatever gets me playing more games that I enjoy is technically going to be the one that I automatically favor, but we're still pretty early in that race. The next couple years are really what's going to tell us what the big deal is between these two APIs and which one actually ends up coming out on top. Just to say it one more time, I would much prefer the platform that allows people to develop on as many platforms as they can to be the one that reigns supreme. But again, I'm pro gaming, not pro branding. What do you think? Which one makes you more excited about the future of video games? And I know there is one of them. You have been thinking about it because nobody will shut up about it in the PC gaming community. So let's meet in the comments and have a long conversation about that. Hopefully a civil one. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week, and the best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and we will see you next time right here on Game Ranks.